good morning it is about 9 30 i haven't changed my clock in my car yet i'm getting ready to go to the bank and i'm gonna have to take these shades off right now look my eyelashes all messing up anyway i'm getting ready to go to um the bank because i need to get some money out i'm getting ready to head to barbados my car is falling apart so yeah um i'm getting ready to head out to barbados i'm so excited but i had a really rough start this morning i only got about an hour of sleep i was packing all night till about what um five o'clock in the morning and my flight is at 12 and it's 9 30 and i'm about 30 40 minutes away from the airport but uh where's that wells fargo at uh, but yeah so anyway got to get some money and run some errands before the time comes but anyways what took a long time is i could not find my passport i could not find my passport this morning i didn't start freaking out because i was like worst case scenario i just can't go right now i'm just gonna have to lose money which i don't want to do but uh but yeah, I'm just like, it's a lot going on. But uh, nevertheless, I'm getting ready to head out to the airport and get all that stuff situated. Can I go? Can I go? And uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, man, I was I was gonna be upset. I even called like, the emergency passport line to see like if there was something that we can do, like a paper form or something like that. Cause I had no idea and I ended up finding it like two hours later or hour and a half later in the trunk of my car buried in some towels. And I'm like, I got like big beach towels in my trunk that they just stay there all the time. It was like literally bed embedded in there. And I'm like, bruh. So yeah, but I got my passport and we are on our way. I'm getting ready to go to the bank. And I will see you at the airport. One more thing I just noticed. I am almost on E. So I got to get some gas. And I still can go to Walmart and get a, a, a microchip thing for my GoPro. Because I don't have any space. <clears throat> well, I don't have anything in there at all. And I need to put that in there. And I can't find this Wells Fargo. I could have sworn I see a Wells Fargo every time I pass my house. But... Did I go a different way or something? I don't understand, but it's always a problem. I swear, like every time I get ready to travel, dang, can you get out of my lane? Um, every time I get ready to travel, like it's always like this heart pounding like scenario where things are going crazy, and <laughs> I think I put too much perfume on. I'm choking, but it's like this heart pounding like last minute last resort last result thing happening i don't like that feeling it's like i can never just be prepared like even though i try to be prepared it's like it just doesn't work for me so i said to run to walmart and get a microchip thing for my gopro and i need to go to the bank and i need to get to the airport so I want to be there at least a, I mean, it's an international flight, so it shouldn't take, it shouldn't be that bad, but I want to at least get there two hours in advance or an hour and a half or something, because I don't know what the lines are going to look like, so, but, okay, the Wells Fargo, I have no, <clears throat> I have no idea where it is, okay, I'm going to have to put this window down, <laughs> I put too much perfume on, <laughs> killing myself over here, like, I literally am choking, <clears throat> Anyways, um, yeah, okay, so that was just a little update. Good afternoon. This is just a quick update. I finally made it to the airport. I lost my passport, passport this morning and I had a lot to do. My ears are still popping. I had a horrible flight to Miami. I finally made it to Miami. 
now from here I'm going straight to Barbados. I'm not gonna get there till 10 o'clock at night. What time is it right now? It's five o'clock right now. Uh, it's a four hour flight and I think they're just one hour ahead or something like that. But either way, um, I'm about to eat this salad. I literally just paid $20 for this salad. Airport, baby. Anyways, um, I still need an SD card for my GoPro. I wanted to find one here. I went to Walmart, but it wasn't the kind that fits in my GoPro. So I had to take it back when I get back. And right now, I literally found one, but it's like $40. <laughs> I'm cheap, so. Anyways, I'm about to eat this $20 salad and get on this plane. They about to take off in like 30 minutes. And it's just a lot. It's a long journey, but I just can't wait to touch down in Barbados. And um, we'll see when we get there. Oh yeah, the, the flight that I had over here. Oh my gosh, it was horrible, horrible, horrible. I had the middle seat and I had a guy next to me who was really big. And I literally felt claustrophobic on there. I forgot how American Airlines is. American Airlines is so, like, cluttered. Like, the seats are too close to each other. I hate it. But anyways, that's just what's going on today. This is the airport. We all getting ready to go to our destinations. And I'll be in Barbados soon. I'll see you when I get there. Hello everyone, I just made it here to Barbados and as you can see my accent changed. <laughs> no, um, I finally made it to Barbados, I'm tired, I haven't got a lot of sleep, I am so ready to get into bed. I gotta find a taxi and I literally just realized that I um just turn it around. I realized that uh I just realized that um sorry I'm like taking pictures at the same time. I just realized that uh I didn't get any money from the ATM y'all. So I still have to get some money to pay the taxi. And it's like 10 o'clock at night here. Anyways, let me go through customs and I'll talk to you later. today I'm good on yourself I'm tired <laughs> good night that's what they say down here so as you can see, I am all showered up. I'm all nice and fresh and clean and everything like that. I finally arrived. Um, my first day in Barbados is actually really, um, I have a headache. Like I had really bad like pressure in my ears from the flight, which is kind of weird because I'm surprised that I still get the pressure like that because for many years, I didn't really get bad pressure in my ears. But uh, it's like affecting everything because I have like a little bit of a headache and yeah i'm gonna just sleep it off it's like almost two o'clock in the morning um i arrived about 10 it took about 15 minutes to get to the hotel and i'm here now and this bed is actually really soft and comfortable i'm looking so forward to sleeping at least like seven hours um i am gonna try to book a tour tonight for tomorrow i want to get like an island tour of like you know the different parts of the island or whatever but I need to find an SD card for my GoPro, like ASAP. So, as um, soon as I got here, the, this hotel actually, is have they don't have a check-in. Well, they were closed. So, 
excuse me, they were, um, they left like a little check-in envelope for me, like just sitting on the, the thing and it had my name on it. So I really liked that. It was just super easy. And even if I didn't do that, they had a phone outside to where you can call them if you needed to. So I thought that was super convenient because a lot of countries I go to is nothing like that. So, so far, um, what I'm finding out is that Barbados is actually really expensive, which I'm not looking forward to that. I, um, I saw some little brochure things on my counter for food and, um, I ended up just going out and walking alongside the, the, obviously I'm near the shore, so there's a lot of like touristy places around here. So I just walked, um, I felt like it was going to be pretty safe, which I was right. Cause I mean, you just kind of go with your gut feeling. So I just went out and I Googled how to get to the nearest restaurant and there was one that said it closed at 1 a.m. So I just walked down there and it was this man who um, was like trying to holler or whatever. Well, he wasn't really trying to holler. I think he was just trying to get to know me or whatever. I don't really know. But either way, he ended up paying for my um, my food because they didn't take card. So he said that I could pay him back tomorrow. Um, so he ended up just taking care of the bill tonight so I can eat. And then I ended up eating this like the spinach wrap with like fish and like stir fry it was actually really good it was so good <laughs> like it was super good so I was excited about that and like roasted vegetables and stuff like that and um I had a drink and yeah I'm back here and he also showed me where the beach was so we went on the shore at night and that way in the morning I can know exactly where it's at but what I'm noticing is that the shore is actually um it's not swimmable like it's more like surfing type water because the tides are really high so we'll see how the tides look in the morning but more than likely I'm gonna get beautiful views and the beach is literally like right outside my door so as soon as I walk outside I just make like a left and boom just follow the path and there's the beach I'm excited about that so yeah, overall it's been good. Um, I had not the best flights. Um, very uncomfortable. Didn't sleep last night, so when I sleep tonight, it's gonna be really good. Booked me a little tour, and um, yeah. So I am here in Barbados, and we'll see how everything goes tomorrow. And I can get some good pictures of, you know, the views and everything. So talk to you later.